I want to take the opportunity to show you what a vulnerable person looks like. I have two dogs that I absolutely adore. I have a brother, a mum, dad, family, friends, untamable hair, blue eyes, chubby cheeks. I've got a little bit of determination and resilience about me. I'm a classic overthinker. I'm occasionally funny. I panic and I'm anxious 90% of the time. I love a good chat. I care a lot. I love coffee, of which I drink far too much of it. I love photography in all its forms. I use social media way too much. I will devour a sharing packet of crisps like there's no tomorrow. And I'd consider a tray of roast potatoes as a meal in itself. I also have cystic fibrosis. I'm diabetic, I'm asthmatic, I'm adrenally suppressed, and the list goes on, believe me. At the beginning of this COVID-19 outbreak, a lot of people were saying that it was being blown out of proportion. And I think it's now fair to say that this is a very serious situation. That isn't just happening in our country. This is a global pandemic. Those who have said that this virus will only affect the older generation, you're wrong. I am not in my 70s. I am 27. I would love to be in my 70s one day. What an absolute privilege that would be. I am, however, immunocompromised. This is no longer just about your elderly neighbours, your grandparents or your parents. It's people like me, people like your co-worker who has heart disease or your brother's friend that's diabetic or your local barista that unbeknownst to you has had an organ transplant. But you'd have absolutely no idea about it because these are all invisible illnesses. Cystic fibrosis, which primarily is a respiratory condition, is an invisible illness. In light of recent events, the government have put in place guidelines of which we should be following. And there is a reason for this. Even if you are not at risk of becoming severely unwell, you could unknowingly pass on this virus to somebody who is vulnerable. There is so much disruption to daily life at the moment. It is very, very hard to lead a normal life in such an abnormal situation. And I'm sure that over the next however long, We'll be anxious, we will be uncertain, but we will also realise what we take for granted. Privilege of good health is not for everyone. After a lifetime of chronic infections, antibiotics and taking over 25 medications a day, I do not have a strong immune system. And I have never had a day off from living with cystic fibrosis. But I have worked so hard to be where I am today, to be this age, and to be as healthy as I am now. And I haven't done that on my own. I have had support my entire life, support of which I have never been so grateful for. And that support is so crucial now more than ever. Support from people that I have never met and I will never meet. We must, if we can, stay home and stay well. We must close the door on social interaction for a short period of time. And by doing this, we will be taking care of each other. Our schools will reopen. The UK economy will hopefully bounce back. Businesses will start to reopen and life will return to some type of normality. But the speed of this requires the collective ability to get on top of the virus now. We must protect and support the NHS. We must applaud teachers, cleaners, delivery drivers, social workers, care workers, vets. They will be our backbone through this pandemic. These strict measures that are being implemented worldwide will save lives. You will be saving my life. You will be saving my friends' lives. But we must act as a community in order to do this. By saying only the vulnerable are at risk, that vulnerable is someone's everything, someone's world. As a chronically unwell person, at the age of 27, this coronavirus is very, very unsettling. It's making me incredibly nervous. Please, for the sake of yourself and for others and for people like me across the globe, please take care of yourselves and be considerate. We have never needed each other more than we do now. Thanks.